there is one inevitable question that we all ask ourselves when we are learning to sew. And that is, do you need a mannequin a dressmaker's form to actually sew? Well, no, you don't need one, but yes, you will want one. <laughs> and in this video, let me talk to you about why you would want one, why it does, uh, like what you use it for and the different types of mannequin choices there are so you can make the best choice for you to get your best use out of your mannequin. Welcome back my sewing friends. We are talking dress mannequins today. Yes, uh, if you are just new, welcome. My name's Evelyn Wood and I'm the creator of VintageSewingSchool.com. And here on this channel, we talk about everything, uh, garment sewing to skills to really help you get better and make better garments. So if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button down below. It lets YouTube know that you want to see all my future videos. But as I said, today is about the dress mannequin. So the really, really common question I get all of the time is, do you need a mannequin to sew? The simple answer is no, absolutely not. Getting started sewing, you do not need a mannequin to get started. Because let's be honest, when you start sewing, you're just learning to use your sewing machine. You're just learning garment construction, how to read patterns, how to put them all together. You're doing all of that stuff. When you get to the stage where you're starting to kind of got all that groundwork, I wouldn't say, you know, down pat, but you're getting there and you're starting to look at fitting your garments and getting a better fit. That is when a mannequin is when you'll probably want to start putting that into your sewing routine at about this stage. And well, yes, there are so many to choose from. Here's the thing. A mannequin is just a tool of sewing. It is an aid. It's to help you in your sewing process, not what you use to fit your garments on. Because I can tell you, Dolly here is not going to lift her arms and tell me if it's too tight or not, right? So no matter how a replica of your body your mannequin is, it's never going to be exactly it. And it's never going to do things like lift your arms or move around to tell you how it fits. So you're always going to end up putting it on yourself to actually fit your garments. So you kind of just use your mannequin as a tool, as an aid. And it is a very, very useful tool, might I add, that you will want to add into your routine, as I talked about. So now we have the basics covered. Uh, let's talk about what kind of mannequin you need. This is a big one, I know. So really what you're looking for, there are a few things you're looking for in a mannequin. One is you want it pinnable. So you want to be able to pin and stab through and be able to just basically pin into your mannequin of some kind. You want to be able to swivel because you really want to be able to turn her and move her around. And then you'll want her to be as close to your body shape as possible. And well, this is the, the part, and really, isn't it? The kind of mannequin you want will be one that is small, has all those things, is smaller than your body, so you can pad it out to be as close to your body as possible. And no, you do not need expensive padding equipment, some special type of things. Definitely not. You can use uh, materials that you can thrift and find. You just need some padding to be able to pad her up. And there's all sorts of ways that you can, you know, where to put all that. I've just created a course in Vintage Sewing School on basically the step-by-step -step how of, you know, how to do this, where to put the padding, the tools to use, the photo guide, how to make cover, all of that stuff is in Vintage Sewing School. So if you are interested in that, that is all there for you already. There's a link down below. I'd love to have you in class. So the basic idea is you need a form that is smaller than you and you pad it up to your size. And now the other question is, what are the types of forms that you can choose from to then start padding up and get there? Well, there are a lot of options, so you're in luck. Uh, starting from the top, I mean, a professional dressmaking mannequin. Of course, it ticks all the boxes. That's what it's made for. That would be great, but they're super expensive and you don't need anything like that. You have then your adjustable dressmaking forms. So you're probably quite familiar with these. These are, you see in like panels of a body and they expand out and they can even go up and expand in all different ways. These are great because they're really accessible. You can find them secondhand even, uh, and almost everyone will have access to one of these. And they come in different sizes. So you can, you know, mold it to kind of use it as a base shape. And as long as you pad over the entire thing, it is wonderful. You do not want one of those with all the holes in it because it will, it's 
impossible to fit with all those holes. So as long as you plan on covering it entirely, then those are great. Then you have other things like this, uh, this one here. Mine is just a shop display mannequin. So it kind of looks like it. She is padded up to my size, of course, but uh, it fits the boxes. It's pinnable, it's swivable. It's not quite really long enough. So I've extended mine in the uh, panning it up to a me mannequin, as I like to call it in my size. Uh, I've extended her hips as well there and padded her up to my size. It works fine. These are really inexpensive. Again, you can find them in lots of different sizes to get your starting place and then you pad it up from there. Remember, you want it smaller than your body. Then there are other more DIY methods of creating a sort of dress form that you could start with. Dare I say it, the duct tape method. I'm not going to recommend that you do that. I wouldn't. You could do something like a paper mache or something like that to basically make a mold of your body. If I was going to do something, it would be more like that. Uh, so you can create a mold of your body in some kind of way and then put it, you have to find your own dress stand, etc., and put it on there. You could also use that as your starting point. And then there are also the uh, sort of custom DIY covers that you can sew yourself and stuff with um, pillow stuffing. And it's kind of gives you your, your size. Again, you need to find a stand and everything to put it on, but those are also a great option to get a starting place to then pad it up to your size after there. So any of these, really are great choices to, for you to start with to get your starting point of a mannequin for you to sculpt and mold your own me mannequin as I say, say to your body shape as best you can around that. Then you have a really great tool to use in your sewing. You can put garments on it, you can like take a step back and look at it and see what's going on. What you can fit something on yourself and you put it on your body, you might see at the back, you need to pin it in around your seams or take something off. You can then take that off and put it on your mannequin to do the actual pinning from what you've eyeballed on yourself, because let's face it, it's a lot easier to do this on a mannequin than it is yourself. So you can use your mannequin in those ways as a tool for everything, except if you are trying to drape, if you are draping on the dress form, like dress form, then of course it needs to be exactly your body shape because you're creating the pattern as you go along. If you use any commercial patterns, this is called flat pattern making. So it does not need to be exactly, exactly your body shape, just as close as possible. You'll always try it on yourself to know for sure if it fits or not. Remember, you are the creator here and these are just tools for us to help aid our sewing and our garment making process. Now, the big question, should you have a uh, me mannequin here? What do you call her? I love to hear it. Please put your comments down below. What's what is your mannequin's name? Mine are all called Dolly. All of them. Always is Dolly. I know I should individualize them, but they're all Dolly. <laughs> I can't wait to hear yours. And I hope that you can uh, eventually when you're at the right stage, bring in a mannequin to your own dressmaking to really help aid you in that fitting. Until next time, my sewing friends, happy sewing. Bye.